Dear friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate how to replace the belt tensioner on Ford Triton engines 4.6, 5.4 or V8, 6.8 liters. This is a new replacement part, this is our new belt tensioner made by IC Delco. And what's nice about this engine, it's a modular and uh, it's so easy to work on them. They are very reliable, they have certain issues, but they are good build engines. This is a Ford F-250 pickup truck with the V8 Triton 5.4. And especially this truck, this generation was built pretty, with a pretty good quality. Please subscribe to the channel if you first time and click that notification bell, you won't miss any videos. Thank you so much for that. And here is our belt tensioner, it's located on the passenger side, on front of the engine and you will find that tensioner. Okay, that's a tensioner we need to replace and we're going to do it right now. There's a three 10 millimeter bolts, there's a belt and yep. Yeah, very good design, lots of clearance and so easy to work on them. Thank you for it for that. This is our replacement part. Always check and compare new replacement part to the original old one. Good quality IC Delco, I think IC Delco owned by GM. There's a bolt pattern, this is a three uh, holes, there's a new pulley with the bearing, there's a also removal installation manual, read that to do it safely and I'm going to demonstrate how I do that and this, if this video will help someone that will be awesome, this is a part number for the replacement part and uh, this is uh, I would say most easiest and, and, and yeah belt replacement tensioners ever okay for this job we need a ratchet 10 millimeter socket uh, half inch breaking bar to release the tension on the belt you see that square slot on the tensioner lock thread lock tight and a torque wrench yeah that's those tools we need to get the repair done and the first we need to release the tension on the belt see there's a special square slot or the half inch ratchet I'm using a long breaking bar to get down to the tensioner and it gives me enough leverage to pull and release the tension from the belt pull it control clockwise and slide the driven belt from the alternator pulley as i said lots of room very nice and easy to work on in forts especially this generation and what is simple it's just uh, everything there i mean you don't need to remove other parts to get to the part like to the component you need yeah three 10 millimeter bolts lose those ones with a ratchet and uh, yeah this is very straight forward see so you go straight to the part to remove it and install it that's smart design here we go our belt tensioner is out and as you can see, well, I don't, I'm not sure if it's original, probably not, but at this point it needs to be replaced. The bearing is worn out, and it started making a winding, like a bearing metal, metal noise, and it just, yeah, time to put a new one. All right, as I said already, always compare new part to the original part make sure they're identical and imagine because that's critically important even small differences might have a huge change on a performance you want to follow the original manufacturer specs this one is for the that's another made by IC Delco which is a good quality replacement part I got it from a local parts store 
Uh, yes, clean the place where the new belt tensioner will be mounted. Make sure those surfaces are clean and no any dirt. Just wipe it with a rag. Apply medium strength Loctite to the belt to the bolts. It will protect the threads and also will prevent bolts from getting loose. As you can see, now we're putting our new belt tensioner in place. Align the holes on the mountain bracket and the belt tensioner. I am starting with the upper bolt and always, always start bolts by hand. Make sure they won't go across the thread. So simple. And as again, thank you for for that design. I like to work on them. This truck has already 416 clicks and it still runs like a clock. If you take care of this type of engine, they have all issues, but they run really, really forever. Okay, t now time to tie the bolts with a wrench. Yeah, if you have any questions or yeah, if something is not clear, or please leave the comments down in the section comments below. And now we need to torque the bolts to the specs. I'm torquing the bolts up to 35 foot pounds of torque. But always, guys, uh, check your service repair manual. This is a demonstration, and I'm just sharing with you how I'm doing. And if it will be helpful one day to someone, that will be awesome. This is my hobby YouTube channel. I like to share. This is the cool stuff to share with all of us. And uh, yeah, very easy job. All right, bell tension is a place. All bolts are tight, torque. And now time to place the belt back. Pull the tensioner up and place the belt on the alternator pulley and always check make sure belt position properly and it's engaged completely and it's all in slots and it's not cooking or in a, on an angle and as you can see all our components are there and belt is in proper position check that first before you fired up the engine otherwise it might cause the damage to the belt or driven accessories here we go this is uh, all what you need to do guys and uh, yeah ask questions down in the comment section below and if you would like to watch to support my channel please go and watch more video that's very appreciated subscribe and here is the fort and uh, yeah we'll take care of you and uh, now we're going to fire up the engine and see how it runs and uh, yeah, I hope you're safe, stay home, uh, help other people who's around you if they need help. Okay, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much again for watching and uh, yeah, have a good day and uh, bye-bye now. See you soon, guys. Take care.